often only see these officers looking sharp and smart in their uniforms, moving in precise formation. Little do we know that the role of these men and women of the Barbados Coast Guard go far beyond ceremonial duties. 1979 was the year that Barbados was introduced to the Coast Guard, the maritime arm of the Barbados Regiment. These officers don't wear capes or have superpowers, often going unrecognized, but on many occasions, sometimes unknown to civilians, have protected us from illicit activities and come to the rescue of countless other people. They are Barbados' unsung heroes. One of those officers is Lieutenant Andrew Walcott. On January 2018, he became the third captain to take up command of the flagship HMBS Trident. Uh, we have three, as you know. There is HMBS Trident, there is HMBS Leonard C. Banfield, and HMBS Rudy R. Lewis. Uh, until the first set of these OPBs, uh, we would have had uh, Leonard C. Banfield. Uh, that would have been commissioned um, by the late uh, Colonel Leonard C. Banfield. He would have been the first chief of staff of the Barbers Defense Force, so that was one of the reasons why it was named after him. And then Rudy R. Lewis, HMBS Rudy R. Lewis, would have been the second one that we would receive. And all these vessels are from the company called Diamond, which is located in Holland. And then in 2008, we would have received her. And since then, she's been traveling through the seas, doing what she's supposed to do as part of our mandate. The sea is a very beautiful body of water, but it can also be a very dangerous place for officers. Lieutenant Walker recalls a risky situation when they were able to save more than 200 Dominicans after Tropical Storm Erica devastated the island in 2015. Nothing was more grateful than seeing happy faces. Even if it was just a small bag with one little bottle of water and taught people whatever you can, you can think about. Those persons were thankful for just that. You know, but uh, I, I must tell you, it makes you, it hardens you in another aspect because being a, a member of the armed forces, you can't be soft. You, you will be able to deal with it one side and talk to your peers. In 1981, HMBS Willoughby Fort was commissioned as a Barbados Coast Guard's base, and in 2007, it was decommissioned and replaced by the new base, HMBS Pelican, at Brandon's on Spring Garden Highway. After its modernization, the Coast Guard has conducted 239 successful counter narcotic operations, netting approximately 30,000 pounds of marijuana and 425 kgs of cocaine, with a combined estimated street value of over 700 million Barbados dollars. The Coast Guard has also conducted 476 successful search and rescue missions. 11 medical evacuations of marinas from vessels at sea and 10 regional humanitarian assistance and disaster response missions in support of the regional security system. For Lieutenant Walcott, the future of the Coast Guard will be dependent on one major element. Once we work together as one, that's how we get our job done. So you've got to be able to work as a team. I can't do my job without the engineers. I can't do my job without the seamen. If I'm in a kayak, I can do it by myself. But working on these vessels, working on this base, everybody here at the Coast Guard is a family. So you got to be able to open, have an open mind to be part of the family. Being able to understand that there are going to be times that you're going to be called upon where you don't expect. Being able to be operative and short notice. Because you know why? Because we do it for the people of Barbados. That's our responsibility.